It's a short month this month, Gemini. It is February 2024. I'm just setting this up so I can animate the chart for you so that you can see what your karma has in store this month. It's important to note the cluster of planets here, three planets in your eighth house of shared resources, kick the month off. But that's uh, counter balanced. Could we call it balance? Maybe Pluto, transformative, disruptive, eliminative. Uh, it can tear things down, especially in terms of what is referenced by this ninth house, which are your value system, religion, philosophy, politics. Um, the educational side of things might uh, take a turn. Uh, you may want to do something completely different. Pluto will tear everything down and uh, build it back up for you. Pluto rules the sign of Scorpio, which is your sixth house. It's not what we would consider a friendly planet, um, but sometimes uh, our enemies make us stronger, don't they? Ask any boxer in the ring. Um, the moon's swinging around there quickly, it moves into the eighth house. There could be some disputes over money with uh, this eighth house stuff going on, but I'm more interested in what's happening up here in the ninth house, which has to do with your standards and your values, your ethics. Um, you may start to realize that what you've been doing is not resonant with who you are as a person. Uh, this ninth house is also a spiritual house. So you want to get some deeper insight and that can happen around the 10th when as you see here, the moon, the new moon in the ninth house brings in a new teacher, a new mentor, a new methodology of looking at your life and valuing your life in a, in a different way. The retention of Venus and Mars in this eighth house is very sexual, very sensual. This could be a lot of uh, interest in the bedroom, if I could put it that way, uh, when these two sexual planets transit this eighth portion of the zodiac. You've still got Saturn up here in the 10th house. It's going to remain there for a while. So some of you born under Gemini might feel a little bit stuck under this period. There's Mars moving into the ninth. More energy and drive. I'm just wondering whether all these planets here have something to say about this loan. Well, it's not completely loan, but it's far enough away from Neptune. Uh, yeah, the Neptune and Saturn can create a... Uh, a situation where you feel as if you're treading water, you're not getting ahead. You may be very, very frustrated in your work. Hence, the desire to break free of that. Knowledge is power. So you may be looking at ways to, you know, break free of a rut that you've been in, in the professional sense. Venus moves to the same position as you can see. What a cluster of planets there in your ninth house. And don't forget the ninth house also says something about journeys, travels. These are long distance journeys as opposed to this third house, which are shorter duration journeys, running around doing your normal this and that. The sun will move um, around the 20th, as you can see there to the 10th house. Now that's going to bolster your work. That's going to give you a lot more confidence, even though you've still got Saturn transiting in this area. That's not a bad thing either. That just cautions you um, where you may want to make the move. You sort of feel that you don't want to rush in where fool's there. So the sun will still bring with it an excellent opportunity. And what that tells me is that because of the responsible nature of Saturn, good opportunities arise as a result of you conducting yourself in a proper manner in uh, the context of your work. The moon comes around here into Virgo and on the 24th you have a full moon there in the fourth house. So domestic matters will take more of your attention after that. You can see here the nice aspect from Jupiter and Uranus. Sudden and fortuitous events. Happy gatherings in the home. And also because Jupiter rules the seventh house of marital affairs and love and partnerships. 
this is a feel-good cycle um, all through this fourth house transit of the moon. By the way, moon has good directional strength in the north um, with that. All of the planets by the last few days of the month have left this eighth house. All moving to this upper part of the horoscope, again, giving weight to the professional and educational areas of your life throughout the month of February. It's important to get um, more information here, and I've got it for you at astrology.com.au. We've got the uh, written daily forecast weekly and the monthly one, which is what we're talking about now, along with the context of the year. Do have a look at that at the site. Do subscribe. We need your subscriptions. We need your company too. That's why I'm going to say I'll be here next month. Again, same time, same channel. And I hope Gemini, you'll join me for a little more of your Gemini karma. Take care now. Bye-bye.